Hello, and welcome to another in-phase training video. Today, you will learn the necessary troubleshooting steps to take when an IQ system controller is stuck in system shutdown. A system shutdown switch is required for systems that are installed with either sunlight backup or IQ8 microinverters that are paired with battery backup. There are a couple of reasons why the IQ system controller could get stuck in system shutdown, also called SSD. The term rapid shutdown, or RSD, is also commonly used in the field. Sometimes, you'll run into this issue while installing and commissioning the IQ system controller. It can also get stuck in SSD during emergency situations, like when a first responder or installer has to engage the switch. It's a safety measure taken to avoid electrical hazards by stopping or reducing voltage. The SSD switch is required by NEC standards to protect those handling the in-phase energy system. If an IQ system controller is stuck in an SSD state, the home will lose all power until the issue is resolved. As you begin troubleshooting, remember to take pictures of all of the steps you take, including multimeter readings with the probes on the test points. First, you'll need to turn the SSD switch to the off position. Once it's off, get your multimeter out and test the utility on the grid side of the IQ system controller. It should read at 240 AC voltage. Now you'll need to set your multimeter to DC voltage to test terminals 1 and 2 on the SSD terminal. It should read between 3 and 3.3 DC voltage. You need to test terminals 3 and 4 as well, which should be receiving the same voltage as points 1 and 2. If your multimeter readings are incorrect, you'll have to test the E3 board, which I'll cover later in this video. If your multimeter readings are correct, you will need to test the SSD wiring. To do so, Turn on the SSD switch and adjust your multimeter to the continuity setting. Measure the continuity on SSD terminals 1 and 2, then 3 and 4. All terminals should return positive continuity. If either or both tests fail, check the wiring between the terminals and SSD switch. If it isn't wired correctly, refer to the quick install guide provided in the video description below and correct the wiring. If the wiring looks correct, Check to see whether the IQ system controller is still stuck in its system shutdown state. If it's still stuck in this state, you'll need to turn the SSD switch back off and test the E3 board. First, you need to remove the metal plate covering the E3 board using a T10 bit. There are four screws you'll need to remove. Then set your multimeter to DC voltage and measure between terminals 1 and 3, which are the black and red wires located at the top of the board. The multimeter should read zero DC voltage. Now measure between terminals two and three, which are the green and red wires. The multimeter should read three to 3.3 DC voltage. If the readings are correct, confirm that the white and red connectors are fully seated. When taking pictures of these troubleshooting steps, make sure you show the entire E3 board. If the voltages are correct on the SSD terminal, but not the E3 board, You'll need to check the wire continuity and connector sequencing between the E sub and E3 board. If voltages are correct on the E3 board, but not on the SSD terminal, you'll need to check the continuity between the SSD terminal and E sub board. If voltages are incorrect on both the E3 board and the SSD terminal, this means that the E sub will need to be replaced by a field service technician. Contact in phase customer support to request a replacement. You'll need to provide all of the troubleshooting pictures you took. Thanks for watching. Now you know all the troubleshooting steps to take when an IQ system controller is stuck in system shutdown. 